Hello there, this is Da Castro speaking from uh, my hotel room, the Sheraton uh, Heathrow in London. And um, I finally got here after several hours of traveling by train and by plane and such. It's been a very long day for me, involving a lot of traveling and waiting waiting to travel and waiting during the traveling and such it's been very long particularly because i woke up before five in the morning because of a snow plow in my neighborhood and uh, we also have some rat problems in my house some little rat making some noises in the kitchen which is well, kind of annoying and a little disturbing. My dad is going to try to kill that little bastard while I'm away. Hopefully it will be gone when I get back home. Like I said, it's been a very long day. Because, well, as a precaution, I uh, took a very early train before my flight was leaving. So uh, I had to wait quite a long time at the airport, especially since I went into the terminal very early. And then my flight got delayed like 25 minutes, so yeah, there we go. A uh, big part of the day has been spent sitting on my ass, both moving and not moving. But at least I'm at the hotel room and I'm, I quite enjoy it. It looks very nice. Got a TV. Can't have a hotel room without a TV. Goes without saying. Unpacked some stuff. That's my bag. The De Castro uniform or a part of it anyway. My winter jacket, which uh, apparently is a little too warm for England this time of year. Not as cool as in Sweden, so I'm probably gonna feel like one of the kids in South Park wearing this, but... Uh, I'm gonna be fine. A moment ago I got reunited with an old friend of mine who I hung out with last time I was, at, uh, was in London at a convention. Speaking of conventions, I have sadly discovered uh, through my friend that Julie Benz is not going to be at the convention. And uh, I'm, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't disappointed about that. I mean, I even brought the cover of my DVD of Boondock Saints 2 so that she would uh, sign it. But, you know, not the end of the world. So, Julie Benz, not that I think you would be watching this, but if you're watching, Hard feelings. I guess it comes with the territory of being a professional actress and all. So maybe uh, some other time during some other circumstances I'll get to meet you. So not much to report at the moment since the convention hasn't actually started yet. Yeah, over and out. So uh, me and my uh, friend have been down to the Thistle Hotel where the convention is meant to be and strangely enough we haven't seen any things set up, like any preparations or so. We still don't have uh, our suspicion about what's going to happen with the convention, like if it's cancelled or something, like my friend has been trying to reach the people or arranging the whole thing with no answer. Seems a little suspicious, but hopefully that doesn't really mean anything. But uh, we're going to find out, obviously, sooner or later, so yeah, fingers crossed. 
Alright, good news. The uh, convention hasn't been cancelled and uh, we have gotten our uh, well, passes. Mine has a picture of glory from Buffy. There's also program. Well, which, which one of these is the program? Well, one of them is that's what's important anyway. So, anyhow, the convention is actually happening. So, I suppose the opening ceremony is happening later this evening. Yeah, looking forward to it. So I just went to uh, this pub called the White Horse with some of my friends and I also got to meet some of their friends and they're really cool people so I got really glad that I got to hang out with them like you uh, I've already had lots of fun and the uh, opening ceremony hasn't even started yet speaking of which it's, it's about to start and that's where I'm going it's gonna be kick ass Right, so uh, I just came back from the opening ceremony of the Vampire Ball and like I said, it was kick ass. I mean, it's really exciting to see people that you're a fan of from TV and movies in real life. I mean, i done this before, three years ago, and it was just as exciting now as, as it was then. So, um, yeah, I signed up to, for a photo session with together with Juliet Lando and it's gonna be real fun actually for a moment I thought that uh, Juliet Lando was going to be something of a rebound celebrity to me just because uh, Julie Benz had to cancel but that was kind of stupid of me to think that way I mean I like her just as much as Julie Benz yeah I made a very big deal out of that I was going to see Julian. But Julie Benz is gonna be there, yeah! And Julie Benz. Julie Benz is gonna be there. It costs lots of money, but I don't feel dense. Not when I'm going to see Julie Benz, yeah! That doesn't mean that I care any less for uh, Julie Atlanta, of course. Now I'm back at my hotel room because I have to get ready and change into my costume. There's a costume party happening in a while with the theme Sunnydale High and I decided to dress up as Angel so that's gonna be a lot of fun I hope. So there now I finally got my uh, Buffy <laughs> Angel outfit on. I don't think I would be as convincing as Buffy. So yeah I'm quite satisfied with this look. Maybe you could get a better... Yeah. Like... I'm not an expert on uh, hairstyling and such, but, you know, it's the thought that counts, so... And, uh, very soon, uh, my Scottish buddy Jamie is gonna show up and pick me up, so we can go to the costume party together. Yeah. Wonder if it's gonna be just as fun as last time when I went dressed as Spider-Man. Probably. I mean, it, a costume party is about so much more than just a costume, you know? It's the party bit that's the most important thing. Right, so the first night here at the Vampire Bowl has been really awesome, especially this costume. Party. I've seen a lot of really cool outfits here, like Emperor Ming, some uh, TIE Fighter pilots, uh, cheerleaders from uh, Sunnydale High, and some cross-dressers. Not there's anything wrong with that. It's really interesting to see uh, what people can think of, like what they, how they use their imagination for something like this, and uh, well, it's really awesome to be at a place like this, like, especially uh, over at the dance floor where the music is so loud that you can barely hear a thing of what I'm saying.